How nice is it as an actor to be able to throw yourself into something which not only challenges you in terms of your acting ability, but the potential to turn yourself into a professional athlete yeah. as well. It definitely is physically challenging. I, I, I remember my early tennis lessons and I was like, ooh, I got a long way to go. Um, yeah, no, tennis, I mean, I'm, I'm grateful to this film for honestly introducing me to the world of tennis. I didn't have, you know, that, I didn't, I wasn't, not that I wasn't a tennis fan, I just didn't know much about the, the, the game. And I think through this, I've really, gotten to learn and, and understand and appreciate, I think on a greater level, what it takes to truly be a tennis player. So um, I definitely am in admiration of those who do it. Uh, no, I don't think so. I, the truth is that, you know, we're, the three of us are quite similar. Name a celebrity who you, you reckon you could beat in a tennis match. A celebrity? Any celebrity. Zendaya. I could beat her. I won't tell her. Don't tell her. Yeah. She'll say me, so I guarantee it. <laughs> Josh said he could beat you at tennis. Could you beat him? Josh said that? Yeah. Huh. I'll go, I'll go talk to him right now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you joking? That was amazing. No, no, no. Um, well, honestly, for me, I think it's, it's a collaboration, right? And you're ultimately in service of something um, bigger that you're creating together. And really, I feel like it's my job to just not only be able to have a seat at the table to look out for myself, but to look out for my fellow actors, make sure people are comfortable, and, um, and ultimately make the work better. So um, I felt very much supported. And, and, and like again, like I was part of something um, really special. I think all three of these characters are kind of at various points as awful as each other. But I think that there's what's so great about this movie and I think Luca's movies in the past is that we're, you know, he accepts the nuance in characters and they're, they're so, you know, we're all trying to figure it out most of the time and, and I think that they accept their, their awfulness and they're cheeky with it and it's, it's got a beauty about that. The balls aren't real. But the process of putting it all together, it feels very real. So how do you approach it as an actor when you're not actually hitting anything? Well, sometimes we are, actually. Oh, okay. a lot of the, in fact, a lot of the time we are. The, the times when we couldn't, as you can see, our lovely cameraman here, if I was wheel, wielding a tennis racket, as you know, I might hit him. So we, and with either the racket or the ball. So we, we had to be a little bit kind of careful about how we were doing it. And so sometimes we had to imagine it. It's actually great. I'm much better with an imaginary ball than with a real one, so. And it was just great. We just had the time of our lives and we worked really hard and we got away with it, I think.